Good morning everybody and this is your S&P 500 day trade setups for today. So before we kick off, uh, I'm on the hunt for a South African property lawyer. If there's one of you in the audience, I really would appreciate if you'd reach out. Contact details are in the channel or just drop a note in the comments and I'll get back to you. Um, just looking for a little bit of advice from somebody. Um, anyway, let's just get on to our trading opportunities for today. Now we have broken what looks like a bear flag to the upside. So, you know, what is the probability of that continuing? 25% roughly. So uh, I don't expect it to continue. I think it's going to be capped. But what's going to cap it more than likely coming back down onto structure? Now, I just want to delete that and I want to just get a channel going here. Uh, give me one sec. And the reason why I want to get a channel going is you can see there's a channel. So is it a flag or is it just top of channel? Uh, my guts are saying that it's probably just the uh, top of channel. So get rid of that. It's a fairly decent structure at the moment. You're looking for pullback onto structure. And the closest bit of structure is this area right over here at 46.38. So if we start moving down the time frames, you'll see a little bit clearer. There's the top of our channel. There's the closest bit of structure. Um, oscillators are a little bit overbought. Well, not a little bit, quite a bit overbought. So uh, you need to be a little bit scared of um, or wary of jumping in right at the top of the channel with the oscillators like that. I don't foresee us breaking through the channel. It's going to take a lot of noise for us to break through that channel. So um, right now we're top of channel. And uh, we got there with an exhaustion bar. You can see how we were sideways all day as expected. And then the noise came out that there's no real change. So all the feds have said is that rates, uh, the rates hike is not in on the cards in the short term. And they'll keep the rates as they are, but they will start their um, bond retapering. In other words, start buying or selling off some of the assets that they bought early in the um, sort of pan start of the pandemic. So what does that mean for us? Uh, we need to look for structure. And at the moment, the closest bit of structure is definitely down here. I'm just fine tuning this level. And uh, that is 46.35, 46.36. That's the area that we need to pay attention to. Um, it could be just a bit of a consolidation and then a drift up and run along the top of the channel as well. So in order for, to capture that move, what you'd be looking for is come on to the uh, 15 minute. And now what you're looking for is any kind of pullback onto structure. And the problem that we have is the closest bit of structure is going to be these tails here. So those, that group of tail, this tail, these two tails and then you've got this range at the bottom so i just want to get to the range as well because that's pretty important so let's just do that that's our range um, measured move for this range was pretty much like this and that measured move is done so there's the one way that you do it and the other way would be kind of like that and that's sort of capped it anyway so that measured move is done so there's no in other words there's, there's no real upside target at the moment so we need to wait for structure to form so it needs to be a flag or another range or something like that and then you look for another move to the upside so pay attention to everything on the 15 minute charts at the moment so you do have a level forming here uh, if that breaks 46.60 i suspect 46.50 uh, would be a reasonable area to to pay attention to as well so um, yeah it's going to be a, an interesting one i think you you could find a base off here and the base is going to be something like a break above 46.63 your stop area is going to be below 46.60 and then you're looking for this up upside trend line now that is uh, 54 points to probably 100 points to 80 points roughly so yeah it's going to be pretty interesting i think uh, let's just wait and see what transpires but uh, i don't see us really moving much higher than where we are now uh, i would want to see us have a bit of a pullback before we start looking at that everything is looking really tired anyway if i do see something i will put it out on the telegram channel for you but uh, at the moment i'm uh, probably overly cautious but uh, 
money in pocket is always a good trade. Anyway, hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.